Hi, I'm Bill Myers. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a background audio track to your Camtasia productions. What you see on the screen here is your typical Camtasia layout. I haven't loaded anything in the video or the audio track. It's just a blank, clean slate production. When I start my productions, what I'll do is I'll go to the clip bin. Now, because I've got the screen shrank down so that you can see everything in the screencast, my preview window is taking up some room. So I'm going to undock that and move it out of the way. And you can see what I have in my clip bin. And what I have is I have a screen capture movie and I have a title screen. Now generally I load my title screen first, so let's go ahead and do that. And I want my title screen on screen for a couple of seconds. And then I'll load my Camtasia screen capture movie. And when I look at that screen capture movie, I'm going to use this plus to see where my audio starts because I don't like too much of a delay there. I'll just delete out that part right there. And let's see what else needs to be cut. There's this long gap here which I need to cut out. Generally, I would edit this a little bit more, but because I'm showing you what I'm doing, I'm not going to edit it not as much. This is the narration. This is the screen capture. This is my title clip. I generally put my title clip on the end as well so that it ends nice, so I'll just put it down there. If you want to see what this looks like, I'll redock my preview window and play it. Let's play it from the beginning. Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip for the week. Okay, you notice that it just starts right up. It had a little preview screen of me there, right there and then it started the narration. That's nice, but if you want to add a little bit of class to your production and maybe make the audio sound better, you can add an audio background track. And to do that, you go to the Tracks drop-down right there, select Audio 2 Track, and notice it opens an audio track. Now before we put something in the Audio 2 Track, let's go ahead and lock it. And you see how our volume in the Audio 1 Track is? We probably need to bring that volume up. So I'm going to highlight it all. We'll use the volume up button to bring the volume up. That's probably good right there. Then now that we've got that track the way we want, let's lock it. Unlock the audio two track. And over here in my uh, clip bin, I have an audio track which I had uh, copied from a royalty free biop disc that I had purchased on, on the internet. Let's drag that audio track down here. And you see there's our audio track. Notice that the volume based on these bars here is quite loud. And we don't want it to be that loud. So first of all, let's resize the track so it lines up with what we have on screen. Let's highlight the whole track. Now that we have our audio track highlighted and the top track locked, let's lower the volume on the background track. I'll just click the down volume. Each time I do that, it'll lower the volume a little bit. Really, the background volume ought to be quite low. It should be just enough that you know that it's there, but not overpowering. We can test it any time by clicking the play button. Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video. Now, see, it's, that's pretty good, but I want to lower it just a little bit more. And then once I have it lowered the way I want, what I'm going to want to also do is to lower it just as the narration starts, so that it doesn't overpower the narration. So that I can see the narration starts right there. Let's line her up perfectly, and it ends right there. So let's highlight that whole area where the narration runs and lower that even further. And you see I've almost lowered it to the point where you can't hear it. And I like it right there. Let's play it and see what it sounds like. Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is my video tip of the week. This week and you notice the volume dropped off when, when the narration started and if we go down here to the end and play it, You'll also know that the, the volume will pick up when the narration stops. Now if you really wanted to add a cool effect right here at the end, and we're going to enlarge this audio track where you can see it. Where the audio comes up right here, if you want to, you can highlight the last few bars and use the audio fade button, which is right there, so that audio fades right off. Anyway, that's how you add background audio. Now that you've added it all, you want to save your project and your render. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.